Well, last night I brought you some of the environmental protests erupting against the forests of wind turbines and solar panels under the government's so-called green transition. The expansion of renewable energy is what's driving your power bills up. Because while wind and solar might be cheap when the sun's shining and the wind's blowing, it's not cheap to deliver, to get it from the solar farm into the cities, and it's certainly not cheap in the middle of the night or in a wind drought. Today we learned that in Victoria alone, consumers, so households, they're paying nearly $200 million more on their power bills to subsidise foreign-owned renewable businesses. This is ordinary households, homes, paying this via their power bills. And it's happening because of the renewable energy certificates that power companies are forced to buy, meaning the renewable provider gets paid twice. Just look at who's getting these subsidies that you're paying for. The Herald Sun reports that China's State Power Investment Corporation, it owns nine Victorian wind farms. Well, it's received about $50 million. There was around $64 million paid to a Spanish multinational for its wind farms. Another Spanish group with a wind farm in Berry Bank, so not far from Colac, in the west of Victoria, they got $40 million while a French-owned wind farm just outside of Ararat, $28 million. Remember, Anthony Albanese promised some 100 times before the last election he was going to cut your power bill by $275 per year. Not happening. As one local farmer, Jason Barrett, said, how on earth are our energy prices going to be lower by handing bucket loads of money to foreign-owned companies? He said it doesn't make sense. Well, Jason, you can say that again. 